Good morning. We're at the airport. We're going to Seattle and today is move-in day. So we're hoping to stop and move into this new place. I have a ton of like furniture and stuff like that that is getting delivered and we're just so excited. So just wanted to say good morning and welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging for the next like week or so in Seattle and I'm so excited. I can't wait. So I've got a coffee and an egg sandwich. How do you feel about moving day? I'm hyped. Yeah, Good we're hyped too. I love traveling with a husband because I turned my brain off, you know? <laughs> I'm like, where's the gate? Oh, I don't really need to know. So I thought I would do a little grocery haul because I feel like I did quite a bit of shopping since we don't have anything at the house right now. So I'm gonna show you. I only got stuff to make one meal tomorrow because I don't like to get like a ton of ingredients. Because I feel like my cravings change throughout the week and then I don't wanna waste food. So if I wanna make something else, I'll just go back to the store and get new stuff. And as arugula, I got manchego cheese, which is like my favorite cheese to eat with like crackers and stuff. Feta for some Greek bowls I'm making tomorrow. Organic pasture raised eggs, pickles, peanut butter, cherry tomato, avocado, mango. This is such a good snack, but I always make sure to get the ones with no sugar. Plain Greek yogurt. Again, no added sugar. I already snacked on this, but I got this corn salsa that is so good. This other salsa, pink lady apples, red onion, mango chunks. I love to eat these for like a sweet snack after I eat or like toss them in smoothies. Got bagels, corn tortillas because I'm gonna make breakfast tacos tomorrow, a bunch of lemons, pink salt, and then I got a bunch of dips because I'm gonna make these like chicken Greek bowls tomorrow. Where Trader Joe's has like the best dips. So I got this vegan tzatziki. You can't even tell that it's vegan. It's so good. Just some organic hummus and then this garlic dip which is like amazing on top of bowls with like rice veggies chicken all of that yeah that's the full grocery haul i'm going to put everything away we are like in the midst of building the coffee table and just like organizing the last few things i have some laundry running with like sheets just opening up packages and stuff but the place is coming along i feel like when you have groceries it feels like a real house i got these cups for iced coffee from a crate and barrel i will link them pretty thick and they have this like green hue which i thought would be really cute and i wanted some like cute glassware to decorate these shelves these vases are not going to stay here but i just wanted to get it out of the way and these are for like flowers and stuff also got these plates from amazon also just wash those so sad i went to target earlier when I was in California and I made sure to like check everything before ordering anything online. Like I wanted to see how it looked and felt in person. And I got this plant and they were really not smart with how they packaged it. And we got it like completely shattered. And then because this shattered, it was like slamming against all the other glass stuff. It like broke some of the candles and stuff that I got. So I need to return that. But I loved this like olive plant and it's fake. So it has like literally no maintenance. And I thought the pot was super cute in the kitchen. So yeah, those are the kitchen updates. <laughs> tonight even though i just got like a million and one groceries i'm just gonna eat pizza tonight because i swear like moving really takes so much out of you and i did not have the energy nor the time to cook up a whole meal but hopefully inshallah starting tomorrow we can start cooking some meals because this kitchen is like so inviting i can't wait to actually cook in here like deep cleaning the apartment and the floors and stuff after we go through all the boxes we're gonna lay down the kitchen runner and i'm gonna show you guys like everything that i got i think once it's like up because right now things are like in boxes and I'm gonna link all of the home decor that I've gotten. And to be honest, I got a lot off of Facebook Marketplace too. And I think I did a great job at like finding really good stuff at such a good price because this place is only temporary for like a year. But I still wanted to make it look chic and homey. And I think I've done a good job. So I'll show you guys all of that. I'm high key proud of myself because I found this super cute crate and barrel couch for legit 200 bucks on Marketplace. Like I think we can just collectively agree that I slayed. What do you think? For sure. So this is the coffee table. We're building it right now. It's also from Target. We got our TV. Console also from Marketplace. There's a lot going on. Okay, our pizza just got here. I'm gonna do some red pepper flakes. Parmesan. Good morning. Happy Friday. Got two ice lattes, one with vanilla from Stoffa and one 
almond milk for me. Here. I got you vanilla because he said he wanted something sweet. We got some pastries because we haven't moved the plates and stuff here yet. And I went grocery shopping yesterday, but I realized I don't even have anything to like cook it with. Berry muffin. It looks good. I love blueberry muffins. You know what I was obsessed with as a kid? The little bites. Remember those? Like the marshmallow. And it would come like pre-packaged. And I know if my dad let me get those. Marshmallow? I didn't say marshmallow. What did I say? Oh, I meant blueberry. Honestly, been a pretty chill day. We are honestly just so tired. I was like, I want to cook in tonight. I haven't like cooked a home cooked meal. I haven't like worked out in so long. And I just have that feeling you guys know, like when you're traveling or you're just like moving and it's just chaotic and you're eating out and you're not like working out, you're not in your routine. You just like want to get back into it. So I'm cooking a healthy meal tonight at home. I honestly haven't had like my own kitchen space to cook in so long. So I'm so excited. Making like Greek Mediterranean style bowls. This is like my favorite thing to make and it's so delicious and so honestly easy. You just need some fresh veggies and stuff. So I ran to Whole Foods really quick because I didn't get everything I needed at Trader Joe's yesterday and I got olives, I got some cilantro, radishes, cucumber, my favorite almond milk and some cold brew and then some apple cider vinegar, which I always love to toss on like salads and stuff for like the extra healthy probiotics. Whole Foods has like the prettiest flowers right now so i got some peonies and then also got this like little white neutral bouquet as well which is going to go on the coffee table but then i am cooking some rice and i'm not even gonna lie i'm a little embarrassed but this is my literal first time actually cooking rice on my own like i've obviously done it with like my mom and stuff but this is like my first time doing it on my own that's adulting at its finest i'm finally making my own rice and i really want to get my rice recipe down because i feel like when you make good rice all your like Persian and Afghan food will taste a million times better. Like you really can't even make it without the rice. I'm gonna start chopping up all my veggies and then we'll get started on protein. And I have a timer set for my rice. I literally had to text my mom because I was like, I feel like it's too hard. But then I realized I accidentally bought brown rice. I did not mean to buy brown rice. And I feel like brown rice always stays hard. I don't know. Chicken's in the air fryer, rice is finished. Just need to plate it in a sec. Finished product in terms of like the salad bowl base. So we have avocado, hummus, tzatziki, pickle, cucumber, red onion, tomato, cherry tomatoes. The ones from Trader Joe's are amazing right now. They literally taste like candy cilantro, radishes, Greek olives, and garlic sauce, which is so yummy for like chicken. I've got my chicken in the air fryer right here. This is my first time using an air fryer, so we'll see. So late guys, it is Saturday evening. I just finished my makeup because we're about to head out to dinner. We're gonna go to my favorite sushi spot in Seattle. It's called Momiji. It's on my Instagram like guide for all my Seattle like favorite places to eat. It is literally incredible i think about it every single day and there's no sushi that compares to it it's amazing so we're gonna go there tonight and mustafa is gonna help me take a few pictures before dinner i need to touch up some curls in my hair ignore the mess in the back we are like obviously in the middle of a move i'm wearing my new pajamas that i just got in from free people they are so freaking cute and they just make me feel so luxurious and i'm gonna link them for you guys i got them in a size medium because i like all my pajamas to be like really oversized and i'm super excited about them i bought them off of revolve and they're like yellow and like lavender, they're so fun. The curling iron that I always use is from T3. I think this is the one and a half inch. I really like this one, so I will link it for you guys. Today was a super fun and like chill morning. We went on a really early like Saturday morning walk to our favorite bakery here, which is Bakery Nouveau. It is so good. We always get there like twice baked. Almond croissant, I think it's what it's called. It's so yummy. Discovered the literal best iced lattes 
in the city real fine coffee put the name on the screen it is amazing and i always order the iced almond milk latte and after we went to bakery nouveau we just like sat and ate our like croissant and we also got like a little caprese sandwich outside in the park the weather is so beautiful and then we walked over it was like a 30 minute walk to the arboretum and it was so pretty we just like walked around walked through such like beautiful neighborhoods and like everywhere it's just like blooming and it's just so beautiful and then when we got to the arboretum we went to like the japanese garden which was like so pretty we saw like all the little like i think they're goose Piece. i don't know it was so funny i was taking a video to send to my niece she's like really into like animals and stuff the video i'm like look Ray, Ray, like look it's a ducky and i was gonna text it to my mom to like show her because she's like with them right now and it was just so funny because there was like this literal fifth grader like standing right next to me and in the video she's like it's actually a goose and i was like oh my god that's so funny she really schooled me and then came back to the apartment i did like a quick like bailey brown like abs and like booty workout because I just like wanted to get something in. Now I'm getting ready to go out again. I haven't even been using like real hairspray lately. I've just been using this texturizing spray from The Way. It also helps if you kind of like struggle with volume. I feel like it brings it back to your hair. Two different outfit options. So the first one is this like full denim on denim look. These like big boots that I've worn a bunch of times. To be honest, they're not the most comfortable, but they are so chic and they're from Revolve. I got them in like the winter time and I love them. For the white outfit, I wanted to wear my new like Adidas Sambas. I have this like long sleeve um, maxi dress that I've worn before. Um, I've worn it once. It's from a turn and it's like a ribbed maxi kind of like a sweater material got this blazer also from anina bang when i was in new york and i thought it would be really cute to do like a very like classy monochrome moment dress it down with like the sambas because i just feel like these are so cute and i'm obsessed with them i was also on my last vlog that i got these like little prada kitten heels and i was thinking like maybe i could wear these with this outfit but i don't know like should i save these for my birthday and i also have these little like strap up heels with like the floral applique that I actually made myself these flowers on them that I got for like two bucks at Joann's and these look so similar to like the Magna Bertram I think that's how you say the designer's name I'm not totally sure also at the dinner I made last night I think I only showed like a brief little clip of it because we were honestly starving by that point we just like wanted to eat it was amazing like it was so good and I feel like having all the fresh veggies and making your own dressing at home makes all the difference with just how like good and fresh your food tastes. So it was amazing. Watched the first episode of Selling Sunset season six. I thought while I have the downtime, I could just kind of like sit and give you guys a little update on the wedding because I've been getting a few questions about it. And I've shared a lot about like my wedding dress shopping experience. A lot of people were like, are you stressed? Like the wedding is coming up. And I feel like some people were confused. My wedding is not until next year, 2024, inshallah um like fall ish like early fall into summer now i feel like i kind of put the dress shopping on pause because i fell in love with the dress in new york and then honestly i kind of like forgot and i feel like i need to just like go to some more places and like actually get serious because i feel like i just tried so many on that i was like oh my god like i don't know it was too many options because the wedding was still so far away i didn't feel like pressure to like make up my mind and get a dress so that's like an update on the wedding dress situation but then with like the actual wedding so we went to turkey in like march and we looked at all the venues and stuff but we actually didn't book anything if you guys remember you watched the turkey vlog i like vlogged the whole experience um we didn't get to book anything because their whole like industry for weddings is very different than the industry in like the states and canada all of that like i feel like we're very like big on planning and like doing things so far in advance and like things book up like two years in advance like venues and stuff like there are literally people in the states probably booking like 2025 20, weddings which is just so crazy but over there it's like not like that and everyone when i went there they're like you know it's still too early like you know we still have a lot of time like people weren't even taking venue bookings that early because we went in march 2023 and then we're planning a wedding for like august september 2024 which like i thought that was like a normal amount of time but everyone we got there was like you're way too early 
temporarily like this is not how we do it here and also because they just had an election so before the election they were like we you know we don't really know what prices are going to be like we can't even give you like a full package or anything like that we're kind of on pause i mean their election did just pass so i think i should start to hear back from the venues that we met with for their 2024 packages because they know all their 2023 packages but i just need to like confirm a few details with them and we do have a planner alhamdulillah we really like her so we are still waiting to like confirm everything and get that process rolling and then once we have like the venue booked i think i'll feel a lot better because i'll be like okay i know a date like i can start sending out my save the dates and invites and like thinking about all of that so that's just like a little wedding update our big update is that my sister nasim is getting married i think her wedding date is like august 27th inshallah so she is having her wedding in san diego and i'm so excited nasim and i are six years apart she is my sister like closest to me in age technically because all of us there's four of us we're all six years apart so like nasim is six years older than me my sister sahar is 12 years older than me and then my brother hadi is 18 years older than me so she's my sister closest in age and it's just like very special that we get to kind of go through this like chapter of life like similar phase of like getting married and like moving into the new places and like starting that like new chapter it's special that we get to go through that together so it's really fun and i'm super excited for her mom my sister-in-law layla and then myself we're gonna really try and help out as much as we can with like planning the bridal shower and then helping her with some wedding details i think we might be doing flowers on our own i'm not totally sure yet but if you guys don't know i actually did all my own flowers for like my engagement party and my nikah and like all that stuff so i definitely have experience with it and layla has experience with it as well I'll be helping her out with that and definitely going to be like vlogging that and her bridal shower is coming up i think it's like the first or second weekend of july so i'm excited because i feel like it's just so fun to celebrate her and we don't get to see each other that often because she's a doctor and she lives in the bay area friday i actually fly out to washington dc because it's my like best friends a goodbye party she's moving to dubai and i cannot wait to celebrate her and see her so i'm so excited to see her and my friends nadia and i are in town i'm actually gonna stay with Aya inshallah and i'm just excited to have that girls weekend and it's actually also my birthday on friday so i'm flying out on my birthday i feel like these like may june july are always the craziest months for me because i feel like everyone's having weddings everyone's having events like birthday there's graduations there's just so much happening yeah it's been really busy but times a lot all good things yeah i just thought i would give you guys a little update before we go to dinner i'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head out and i'm so excited okay i'm all dressed now i'm wearing this reformation like shirt jacket i wore this in new york so it's not new i am wearing the new anina bing um jeans that i got in new york i think you can even see we're with these tall boots which make the whole outfit just like so much more elevated and better for nighttime and also i cannot wear these jeans unless i'm wearing like, very tall boots because they are way too long on me for jewelry i just like did these classic gold hoops you guys i swear if you're in the need of just like easy gold jewelry that's like not gonna turn green and it's cheap and it just like works i honestly go to nordstrom rack for a lot of that kind of jewelry because i'm like i don't really want to spend on it I get a lot of questions about like my gold hoops and it's like i swear go to nordstrom rack go to nordstrom if you are willing to spend a little bit more but that's where i get all my jewelry and then i'm just wearing this watch that i got from amazon i swear people have been like what size is your rolex i'm like you guys i'm flattered that you think it's a rolex but it's not it's one little gold cuff on the other arm and then carrying my black bag like always my lips tonight i'm using the dibs beauty liner in the shade medium mauve i think i don't even know i can't see a shade on it but i think that's what it's called on top i'm doing the dior lip maximizer i think this is in the shade 001 universal clear and it's like a soft nude pink it's nothing too brown which sometimes i feel like this color looks better on me than like brown but i don't know just got back from solid core i make some breakfast i'm gonna make some breakfast tacos just laid out all my ingredients i'm gonna use some of these 
grape tomatoes, eggs obviously, this Trader Joe's salsa, corn tortillas, onion, avocado, cilantro, and then a little bit of Mexican cheese. of the apartment so far ignore like the mess i have going on on this table i was like doing work and i haven't had the chance to put it away yet but i wanted to show you guys the couch that we got it's actually from crate and barrel originally but i literally got it on facebook marketplace for 200 dollars, which is such an insane deal i cannot believe I pulled that off. I have no idea how I did, but I'm obsessed with it. It is so comfortable and Crate and Barrel just has amazing quality. So I'm really, really happy about the couch. I feel like it really brightened up the space since it has like a lot of dark wood. And then this coffee table is from Target. I will link it for you guys. Um, this tray is from Amazon. I have the same one in my bedroom at home and I love it. And just some peonies and a candle. I feel like candles always make the space more inviting. She was planning on getting a white rug. We are still going to get the white rug. This is just like a substitute. This is one that Mustafa already had in his old apartment. I think it's from Rugs USA, but I'm not totally sure. So this is temporary. I want to replace it with like a white knit kind of jute rug. I feel like it would look a lot better and it's just too much going on. But we were like, we need to have just a rug here. In the meantime, we're trying to find one. We have our media console set up and our TV. And then I have this little basket right now that just has like our prayer stuff in it and i can also link this for you guys it's from target and so is this little throw blanket just got in a package from crate and barrel and i want to show you guys the stuff i got this is a set of coasters i'm obsessed with them and they're so cute they're concrete so they're very heavy but they are so cute they are so cute you guys look at that i love them I will link these to get some coasters that were in this material. I really like this like, charcoal kind of color. And then I got these two glasses for like tea and also because I thought they would look really cute to store on our little shelf in the kitchen. And I really liked like the size of these. I thought they were like the perfect size. And they're just so cute, this little set. So I'll link both of these cups for you guys. I think they were pretty affordable. It took a little bit longer to ship, but I'm really happy with them. And I also feel like this would be the perfect gift if you have like any friends who are moving into a new apartment or like newlyweds. I feel like everyone uses coasters. My like best friends got me coasters last year as a gift and I literally use them every single day and they're just like really nice fancy coasters and I feel like a set of mugs would also be like a really cute and like practical gift idea. So I love these, I will link them. Hello you guys, it is Monday. Just wrapped up at our friend's graduation. It was so sweet, I love like going to graduations and seeing like everyone's families and it was really fun. So I'm actually walking right now to Whole Foods to grab a quick bite. I feel like there's always so much happening in this city. Anyways, so we just finished up at our friend's graduation and I'm walking to Whole Foods to grab a quick lunch. And then we have her graduation dinner tonight. So I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed a few days in Seattle. And I'm gonna pick the camera back up, I think tonight. So you guys will see like another vlog very soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Love you all. See you in my next one. Bye.